what is up you guys it's just with your great godmother and i am back okay i am back with another read today's video will be for my virgos i am trying to get back into my sign readings um not more so like my divine masculine divine feminine ones that i haven't uploaded i'm trying to give it exclusivity you know i feel like people connect more where they feel like it's specifically for them so if you're a cancer if you're a scorpio if you're a pisces you're gonna feel more drawn or connected to your sign so i want to get back into doing that so i figured we're gonna go ahead and start with virgo since we are in virgo season and then i'm just gonna go in order so that'll be virgo Lego, Lego, virgo libra scorpio sagittarius capricorn aquarius pisces and then it starts all over and then probably next week i'll go ahead and start all over again and start at Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So, I'm going to go down the order. I'm going to try to do it, like, once a week. Um, so, we only going to get the last couple that we have for the last quarter of the year out. Let's go ahead and tap into the energy. Spirit, God, this is my master, so family, something family. Please be here with me at this time. Help me receive the message to deliver to my Virgos. Anything they need to know at this time. Any guidance they may need. Anything they may be unaware of. So right away, we actually got Sagittarius energy with this Pluto transformation. We also have Aquarius. Oh, Aries. And then we have Challenges. I heard like something getting in your eye. I don't know. I just, I scratched my eye, but I heard like. I feel like an accident, like wood chipper getting in your eye or something getting in your eye. It just feels like, mm, like, you know that feeling that you have when that happens? Your senses, all your senses are like heightened, like sight, smell, touch. What are they? <laughs> okay. Sight, see, sight, <laughs> smell, taste, touch, hear. Boy, okay, goodbye, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's cut okay serious mode <laughs> okay let's do it and maybe like you can't focus or you just kind of feel out of it or loopy if you have children this this feels like going past their bedtime or like being too lenient needing to kind of like exercise discipline so let's look. the energy is so all over the place and this is a new deck um i have the book right here so if i have time i might go ahead and read some things out the book other than that i'm just going to read it intuitively so let's go ahead and tap in any messages from my brothers. Okay. So you have Sarah Lakali, Queen of the Outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I always will be in love. And then you have St. Bridget, Our Lady of Exalted Light. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. I feel like whatever you have, there's no there's no shortage on the blessings. This feels like you will give your last to other people. And now your karmic bank account is filled up to where you're getting good karma. Like a lot of challenges have been halted. A lot of challenges have come to an end. I feel like you've handled things beautifully. I'm hearing you've handled things beautifully with this Aquarius card. Your child could be transitioning. Your child could be transitioning to a female. 
or female to male but this feels like being appreciative or being understanding um outside of that again i am reading for multiple energies so take what resonates with you at the end of the day you know you more than i know you so take what resonates um this feels like anchoring into the spirit of i heard the lord but i don't even speak like that so it feels like Feeling like God is going to save you from something or like being a nun or being celibate or not giving your love away. It's like you feel like that's going to keep you from something, save you from something. But honestly, I feel like you're you're recognizing that maybe you're ready to give in to this person. This person has maybe showed you that against the odds, against the challenges, they're going to be there for you or they're going to be around or they maybe don't care about your attitude as far as like you and your relationship to god i feel like this is like be, you being anchored in trust and just knowing that once you give it to god you'll it'll be already handled like you don't have to keep asking the same questions you don't have to come to god in fear or in worry or in stress you can come in love or in faith or in gratitude even This also is kind of like a halo or like angels surrounding her. Like it's it's like um divine light. Fill me up with the divine light, divine love. I don't know who say that. I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with the dragons in the land of Sir. I don't know how I go, but um Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales. I'm hearing like mythical creatures or childhood childhood friends childhood energies maybe coming into contact with the childhood friend realizing that hey we've both grown up we've both kind of gone through some stuff we're different we're not the same like we can just fall into each other like i like your light your light illuminates me or like the fact that you're so bright it gives me a path to keep going like i can see i don't necessarily need you but at the same time the fact that i have this guiding light I want to go towards that like I can, it feels like I can't resist you like I can't give up on you or I can't give up on us or I don't want to I see how you wear your heart on your sleeve like I've watched you love somebody else so if you have like a um, like a best friend a male best friend or like if you're a male and you have a female best friend you you could be longing for the person who's in a relationship have arrived i am where i will always be in love that's the card that i reread right you got the lover and then it's the swords one relationship is ending so another relationship can be started but i don't feel like this is necessarily like a third party situation or anything like that i feel like this is like ending how you thought about yourself like i'm not ready I'm not good enough. Maybe I need to get my money. Maybe I need to get my car fixed. Maybe I need to get this. Um, even your wardrobe up. Like, I need new clothes. I need better clothes for the fall. The Ten of Swords, I feel like you're dropping your burdens, your worries. I also just heard your responsibilities. So, if you were in a relationship, I feel like that person became a responsibility. Like, it was like somebody you had to maybe take care of. And I feel like you were maybe constantly asking for love. And now love is now being given to you. Somebody has like an overflow or an outpour. Or it's just that they're able to show you their appreciation for you because of your light that you show them. It's like you shine even in the dark. You're everything to me. I'm hearing that Monica song, you're everything to me. It's like, I'll go through anything with you. Like, I'll go through, I'll be in the trenches with you. Like, I'll struggle with you. Like, if that's what it takes, I'm okay with that. Even if I was in a higher position than you, being with you or seeing your light makes me realize that maybe I prejudged you. I didn't have an anchor. I didn't get to know you. I let other people maybe bring me down or how other people felt about you or what happened in our past, my old perception of you or what happened. I let that kind of maybe stop 
me from getting to you is what it's kind of feeling like to me. So this feels like kind of like a waiting energy or like patience like waiting like patience is a virtue but i'm hearing like it's not that you're waiting for somebody to maybe get out of a relationship but you're waiting to see like when you feel safe like when no more daggers feel like they're lurking around when it doesn't feel like this person is gonna stab you in the back like if you're dating around i feel like you're not really taking any shit it's kind of like you can have your eyes on somebody I ain't got you with me, baby. I feel like this is kind of like, I really just want you. I really just want you. Like, you've transformed what I want out of a partner. Or maybe I've transformed. Like, I've changed. I've learned a lot. I've been through a lot. I've gone through maybe other relationships. And I realized, like, I've taken from different areas of different relationships. And I realized, like, the kind of things that satisfy me and the kind of things that I want and need out of my relationship. So, when people come to you, I feel like you're able to maybe set boundaries and maybe you're having a hard time like cutting people off. I feel like the quicker that you cut people off, the easier it will be to find your destiny. Okay, Virgo, so that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share it on all your social medias, and I am out of here, y'all.